In my last series, I tried six different base and independent Linux distros. I wanted to find out if a noob can install the OS and get gaming. In this series, I try six gaming specific distros to see what all the fuss is about. I am new to Linux, so this is a journey of discovery for me. Why are gaming distros so popular and are they really needed? Let's find out, shall we? All right then, so we're in the BIOS and I've already set it up to boot from the USB. Let's uh, get on with it. Right, so F10 to exit. Yeah, do that. Let's see, see what happens. Hopefully we don't have the uh, challenges that we had last week with uh, Bazite. Although a lot of people said they've not had any problems like that at all. So maybe it was just me. Back to probably was just me, right? Let's be honest. I am a noob. Oh, hello. That was quick. So as you can see, we are looking at a Pika OS today. Automatic boot in nine seconds. We've got a mouse to move. Can I press enter or should I just let, wait, I'll press enter. Hopefully that doesn't break it. So as always running the KDE version. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, wow. Now that's colorful. So it says use Pika live media or install distro. Well, we're going to go straight to that, aren't we? Ah, so this is different. <laughs> Why, why is there not just one standard installer, you know? Uh, that's that's my Windows talking, isn't it? Uh, let's type, type in UK. Uh, United, English, United Kingdom. We're going to do that one. Got a EULA. Now, somebody was having a right old moan about, uh, what was it? What was the first one I did? Playtron. How that the, uh, you've got a EULA. Pretty much every software's got a EULA, dude. Uh, Pika is not affiliated with Debian. Debian is registered trademark owned by blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is a hobby distribution. It might provide identical patches. While the installer is running, do not interrupt it. Um, try to use Pikmin instead of apt when using the terminal. It's much faster. Okay. You understand that Exxon driver downloads needed binaries locally and does not directly package distribute. Okay. So username is... Pika, okay, right, okay, let's do it. Uh, keyboard, we're gonna do English US because that's what my keyboard actually is, which is why I was having troubles with it before. Um, time is not that, we want GMT, so uh, let's do Landon. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's not showing me which drive to use here. Let's try manual. Can we go back? Oh, okay, cool. I was worried then. So we're going to select the drive, which is this one. Did I format it? I don't know if I formatted it or not, actually. But it says it's SDA, it's 250 gig. So let's see what happens. Advanced options. It's doing BTRFS. Okay. Then boot. Okay. So you've got auto boot timeout. Okay. Okay. What's all this down here? Swap size. Custom. Okay. So we can mess around with that. But. I've not I've not dived into that just yet. That's that's for future me. Installation summary. Yes, fine, fine. Europe, fine. Two, that will be wiped clean. Good. I like that. That's nice and simple. Look, if you want to install it on that drive, it's going to be wiped clean. Good. Thank you. Separate home. Yes, via sub volume. Partitioning method automatic. None. Okay, let's do it. Partitioning target disk. I mean, it's quite cutesy, isn't it? Cutesy looking. Right, okay, reboot system, nice. I bought a nice Kingston Traveller USB that I'm using now instead of Ventoy because I was having issues with a couple of the distros on Ventoy. So so that's that 19 seconds. I could have changed that. It probably would have been easier to change it then as well. Right, I need to find my controller. I, I, I do this every time. Every time my controller is the other side of the room. Okay, so we're installed. That was very quick. Okay. Let's get started. This wizard would help you finish your Pika OS installation. Internet, open network connection. Device connected to the internet successfully. Good. Uh, we're just gonna go, uh, host name is Pika. And the user password. Oh, I'm gonna type it again. Let me just try something. So let's use any, any passwords. <laughs> We recommend updating your Pika OS install before proceeding. Would you like to update your system? Absolutely. So tell me updates are available. Start download. System updates, okay. Available hardware drivers, okay. So it's found my motherboard. The utility uh, for Linux to control many aspects of various Asus updates. 
Available hardware drivers. Additional hardware drivers available for your device's components. Latest version of Misa. Yes. Oh, so you can tick them and untick them, I suppose. And that's already installed, I'm guessing. AND Rock'em. Experimental, no. I like that. That's quite nice. Is it like a visual representation that there's something going on? As I could learn from this. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was my only gripe really is I didn't have a clue what was going on well, so we got uh, Wiretree's wrapper official open Vulcan graphics driver no I don't want to use that I've not used them in I don't think I've used those in the past so I don't even know why I did that one to be honest I blame Shane for that because he's he mentioned and learned me about Rock'em skip driver uh, okay so we definitely need the codex I'm not gonna lie this is quite an, a pleasant little journey so far that's one of the first things you have to do on uh, Fedora if you want to do any kind of recording or video playback is add the repo, download all the stuffs. So I've actually taken out my Windows drive from my second PC now. It's sat on my desk and I've put in another NVMe and that now has Fedora on it. And I'm using that to capture footage from my main PC using a Elgato HD60X, which I couldn't get to work very well on Windows ironically but I've got it working perfectly through uh, Fedora <laughs> which is bizarre because usually it's the other way around okay gaming meta package packages what does, what is that what is that then oh okay so would you like uh, the Pika OS gaming meta package essential for gaming thus strongly recommended okay yeah all right so it's so it's not a gaming specific one then oh I have to stop the recording no I'm not going to I'm already here now I've already chosen it I've already made the fun now so that's doing all the installers. I just saw Heroic come up there. Lots of libraries going in there. Wine. Uh, so that's the wine. More wine. Gamescope I just saw then. Wait, what? Oh, so it's downloading and then installing, obviously. Lutris there. Python. App Armor. More Python. More wine. Gonna be drunk at this rate. There we go. Sweet. Initial setup complete. Reboot. Let's do it. No, that, that is crazy. We are 12 minutes into the video or into the recording. Does that mean we're done? Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> the problem with having KDEs everywhere. There we go. So there we go. Welcome to a Pika OS. Let me just find the cable for the controller. Pardon me. Now that was the controller buzzing, not me. Okay, so we've got welcome to a Pika OS. Thank you for choosing Pika OS. This welcome screen will help guide you through the available resources for PKOS as well as help you set up your computer to your liking. Okay, so set up steps. Update my system. Okay, so let's just see if there are any. Is there a refresh button just there? Look, everything's up to date. Nice. Okay, set up printer support. Don't have a printer. Open driver manager, a driver utility to install various driver such as the proprietary NVIDIA drivers that significantly increase performance for NVIDIA cards. Don't need to worry about that. Open kernel manager, a utility to manage kernel versions. Okay, don't really want to worry about that. Install more apps from the software manager um, and then install web apps, web browser. Okay, recommended additions. Install the Picker OS game utilities extra. I thought we did all that. Um, what was my password? Okay, so that must have already been done. Wait, what? Oh no, are we done? 55%. No, we're not done. Something weird going on. Is it completely frozen? No, it hasn't completely frozen. Oh, there we go. Just showing my impatience again, aren't I? Microsoft True Type fonts, uh, Blender, Critter, Caden Live, OBS. <laughs> so I would need that. Look and feel, get new icons, and f I'm not worried about that for this. Troubleshooting, there's a wiki, join the communities, and contribute. Okay, nice. So if we go, what's this here? System settings and then discover. I mean, Im immediate dark mode is just spot on. <laughs> so we want Steam, don't we? Oh, look at that, it's just there. But is it, is, it, is it just the flat pack version? I don't want the flat pack version. Uh, so let's see if we can get a native version. So it's pick min, I think it said, wasn't it? Install Steam. Oh. Uh, sudo apt install steam now for some reason it did say don't use apt is it already installed <laughs> it's already installed <laughs> uh, 
And this, I just, it didn't look like I, I installed it then, did it? Linux experts, tell me, did I just install that and then run it? Is that what's just happened? Because <laughs> that would be funny. Or was it already installed? Okie dokie then. Steam. As always, I'll skip this bit. A few moments later. All right, so what are we installing? We are installing, I want to install Artgraders really and try it on this second PC because apparently it can run on a potato, but I haven't got time for that. And I want a consistent approach to this series. So we're going to stick with Starfire. Uh, install, right, okay. Uh, yeah. uh, so in my home directory, okay, cool, cool. Now if I spent less time looking through those options and like rush to get this installed, it would be quicker than Solus, which is one of the distros that I did on the previous series, which was to try out different base distros and independent. And Solus is an independent distro. And it was the very first one I did, and I was very surprised that I managed to get everything up and running in less than 20 minutes. So I reckon this would have been as quick as that, if not quicker, if I hadn't gone through and looked at all of the different options that it was presenting me. So, so far, pretty impressed with Pico OS, not going to lie. I'm starting to come around to the idea that these gaming distros are actually pretty cool. It just takes away a lot of the challenges, right, that you might face trying to get up to this standard in terms of gaming, right? It's probably a lot of work that you would need to do, maybe, to get it to work. So let's see. Let's play. I don't know if any sound's going to come out. I don't think I've fixed the sound. I can see that there is some sound, but... Made with Unity, so there's definitely no sound. Uh, so let me be really, really clear. The reason there's no sound is because I'm running this through a capture card. It's a cheap Chinese chap. Um, it's a cheap Chinese capture card. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. It's a cheap Chinese capture card, and it's got analog audio. And for some reason, I can't pass through the HDMI audio. Remember, I'm coming at this from a, a new perspective. Somebody who's relatively new to Linux. So I have to look at it from that aspect. Okay, so I've got loads of saves now. Let's go. Nice, we'll just do that. Yeah, this is working great as always. Boosh, 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 boosh. Right, okay, cool. That was easy. Right, so now we know, we know that's gonna, we, well, we kind of knew that was gonna work, right? Um, how do I get out of the game? Hold on, return to base, confirm. There we go. This game is a cracking game. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Right, okay, so we need to exit. So there you go, Linux gamers. That is a Pika OS. I actually found that quite an enjoyable experience, especially compared to last week. That was very straightforward. I can see why people like this OS and have recommended it to me. Is it one that I'm likely to move away from Fedora for? No, <laughs> it's not. But it is a nice one, and I would like to explore it some more. And I think that's something that I might do, actually, is I might try and spend a bit more quality time in these distros because I do tend to fly through them but it's a process for me I'm learning these things as we go and I think one of the important things is learning how to get things set up and installed and I'm being able to do that with this series so anyway as always if you've made it this far please drop a comment down below let me know do you use Pico OS have you tried Pico OS is it something that you stuck with or did you move away to something else or just put an emoji in the comments for the sake of engagement Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one, which is 